I want to talk about this bailout. It seems obvious that something needs to be done, and there's really two elements to it. One is this question of why so many Americans are against the notion of a bailout, and the second has to do with how we got here in the first place. And then I think the two are related. Keynes really invented macroeconomics. Before John Maynard Keynes, it was just economics, and it was about what was happening in the household, what was happening in firms, and what was best policy for either one. Keynes came along, he saw the economy not just as something that individuals would participate in, but as a system, a system with its own emergent phenomena. Now, this is key, this is essential, and this is still missed by even a lot of the politicians who make policy, sadly. I say sadly because given they've missed it, we've gotten ourselves into this mess. The, probably the simplest analogy I can give you about a system versus players in the system. And think about the financial system versus these banks. Think about households. Think about people who own mortgages or have gotten mortgages. Those are all players in a larger system. Now, there are things you do to win a game, and then there's things you do to make the game better, to, to make the game work. And, and it's one thing to say you don't want any regulations, which is what we've heard, a lot of nonsense from a lot of the neocons. But there's a real, real problem with that. It's sort of like saying we want to play baseball, but we don't want any rules. Rules don't make the game worse. They don't even make it less competitive. They just make it possible to play. And there's a big difference between worrying about whether the Yankees are going to lose or the Padres are going to lose and worrying about whether baseball disappears. Right now, what we're facing is a situation is a situation where we're really worried about the game. We're worried about the financial system. We're worried about credit. We're worried about all the underpinnings to the day-to-day -day activities of the economy. And if we get that wrong, there's a whole lot at stake. So, number one, we need some kind of a bailout. I have some problems with the plan. For what little I know about it, I don't pretend expertise on the plan. But there does need to be some kind of a bailout because the game is worth saving. That's number one. Number two, how did we get here in the first place? That has to do with the whole nonsense we've been fed by the neocons about competition, no market regulation, free markets. We saw that before. It was what happened in robber baron capitalism. And there's really two things you can do that don't work. One is a robber baron capitalism, a kind of banana republic approach to capitalism where it's just a free-for-all. It's the kind of thing that, again, a lot of neocons would like to take us back to. It doesn't work. Then the other thing you could do, and of course it has happened in a communist and social system, is not just to have rules, but to actually have the officials, have the referees play the game. And that doesn't work either. We have a system that worked until it got gutted. And what upsets me is that we, we never had to get here. We never had to set it up to where we were just ludicrous about the ratios of loans to money on hand. We didn't have to get to the point where we had no regulation really about who qualified for a loan. There were a lot of things we could have, should have, and do need to do again. But I'll save it for another video. What we really should have been doing, instead of stripping away all the advances we had made since the time of Keynes, since the time of World War II, the, the system that put in place that led to just an incredible explosion of financial prosperity, economic activity, instead of doing away with the structure that helped to prop that up. We should have been looking for ways to update that system at the national level and extend it to the global level because we have a global economy today and we need global financial protection, the same as we used to have here nationally. Bailout, we got to have it. A system is different from its parts. And we're talking about a macro economy, we're not just talking about what a firm or household would do, and we're talking about a situation where Firms and households will do things when the economy is bad that actually make the economy worse. Perfect opportunity for the government to intervene. Perfect opportunity to help prop this up before it gets worse. And it's time that American people stepped up to the plate. But more importantly, it's time for those idiots who say, it doesn't matter, we don't need regulation, to just shut up. These are the kind of people who, when they're upset at the government, go pick it outside of FedEx. If you don't understand it, don't talk about it. Accept the advice of the experts, and don't pretend you are one. We are in a situation today that requires a bailout. There's a good arguments, good debates that are necessary in order to talk about just what that looks like, but we don't have a lot of time to talk about it, and we do need to do this.